Hey everyone, welcome to Make Music Day in Anaheim. I'm Mrs. Sparks. I'm the music teacher over at Paul Revere Elementary in Anaheim. And uh, today I'd like to do a steam lesson, steam, uh, using mason jars and uh, creating a musical instrument. So um, you've probably seen this before where you've taken a jar or a glass and you've added some water. So here's what it sounds like without the water. And here's what it sounds like with some water. So you can see how it changes the high or lowness of the pitch when you add water to it. So another way that you can change the pitch to um, to make different sounds in the mason jars, and I have a couple different kinds because I noticed that different um, sizes and different shapes of the mason jars like to make certain sounds. Um, so these ones like to make a little bit more of the lower sounds and these ones were making the higher sounds. So I kind of combined the two to make this experiment. So what I'm going to do is um, instead of adding water, what's nice about these mason jars is they have the little metal lid and they make a nice kind of metallic -y sound, kind of like this. And my goal was trying to make something that sounded like a steel drum that you can make at home, but this is as close as I can get. So mason jars have this metal lid that makes it nice and tight uh, so that when you make your jellies, it keeps the pressure inside. So I said the P word, there it is. So what we want to do today is use pressure to change the pitch of the sound. So the pressure that we're going to use um, inside uh, water doesn't really create pressure, it just creates a level of, of volume inside uh, that the air molecules can bounce off of, but um, what can create pressure is soda. So, I don't know if you've ever done this before, but when you have opened a jar of soda, or a can of soda, or a bottle of soda, um, if it's been shaken up too much, it can explode. So that's created a lot of pressure with all the carbonation inside building up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take soda and we're gonna add it to our jars and then we're going to shake them up to make different pitches so that we can make a do, re, mi, fa, so, fa, mi, re, do scale. So this one actually I wanna keep without any soda because it is already tuned to a C on the piano. How convenient was that? So I'm gonna add a little bit of soda to each one of these and as I find I need more soda in each one, I'll add so that I can create more pressure um, in each one. The more pressure that you put in each one, the higher the sound is going to go. So this one's my C, my bass line. Let's add the caps on to all of these. I'm using a metal straw, by the way, a reusable straw. It makes a nicer sound. You could use a chopstick. You could use a pencil whatever you have at home can work. All right, so that was a fresh bottle of soda, so it's gonna create um, a lot of bubbles at first, so it might um, change as I go through the scale. Um, I might have to come back and depressurize some of them because they like to uh, still create more pressure when the bubbles are fresh. So. So that's a little too high. So already there's a lot of pressure in here. I'm gonna take a little bit out by twisting it open just for a second and then putting it back. Still too high, a little less pressure. Too much still. Just a little bit out. And try not to wiggle it so much. Still too high. I want bum bum. This is what I'm looking for. Okay, so if your bottle doesn't cooperate, you can always move them up higher because he seems to want to be higher than the other ones. So that one's really hot. Star Wars. Even higher. You go up here. Ooh, these don't like to be really super high, so I'm going to take some of the pressure out. I'm going to actually take a little bit of soda out of this because he's not wanting to make some of the low sounds that I want. It's going a little too high. There we go. 
little bit less. And you just run a teeny tiny bit in this one. with one of those cans that is already tuned to the right pitch. I didn't even check that. So he wants to stay the same. All right, we're going to get rid of him. We're going to try somebody else. Let's try this guy. This is the guy that I used earlier today. So a lot of times these mason jars are already not going to sound the same at least the metal lid part, because they're not calibrated exactly the same. They're all just a little bit different. So you just have to experiment to see what works. There we go. Oops. Too high. much pressure in this one. Okay, now these ones want to be really high. Let's add one of these guys back in and see if we can get that third sound. Da -da -da. Experimenting with this. Too much. Maybe I shouldn't have mixed up the two different size jars. For the higher notes. Here's my half from earlier today. There we go. There we go. All right, let's get rid of these two. It's good to have extras on hand. All right, so here we go. That's my C, D, E, F, G. All right, so here's my C. a variety of jars just so that you can experiment to see which ones work with which notes because um, they're all they all range in difference um, in their, the lids they're not all gonna sound the same and some of them will take the pressure a little bit differently so um, just have a variety on hand so that you can get your scale all right so that's I think as close as we're gonna get pretty close. All right, here we go. Uh, so when you have your five note scale, you can play a couple different things. Um, so if you play a C and then a D and then an F, and you know that song, but that's not the song I was going to show. <laughs> Um, if you play the C, the D, and the F, then you can play um, the Don't Worry, Be Happy song. It goes like this. Here's a little song I wrote. You might want to sing it no for no. Don't worry. Be happy. All right, that's one song. Um, you could do Lean On Me. Um, if you do the C, then the F, then the C, then the G. Okay, it goes like this. So... Times in our lives, we all have pain, we all have sorrow. Ooh, 
sharp. But if we are wise, we all got this. Always tomorrow. Oh, that's gonna bother me. G sharp, stop it. There we go. All right, so have fun with that. You can make up all sorts of little songs, um, like you saw the Baby Shark song. You could do um, Mary Had a Little Lamb. Um, all sorts of fun things, but figure it, figure out what, what you like to do. And um, there's lots of different songs using just the five note scale, or you can use the different chord songs, um, the C, the F, the C, and the G for Lean On Me, also Lion Sleeps Tonight, lots of songs using uh, different chord changes. So anyway, I hope you have fun with that and just experiment with different sizes. I mean, there's the, there's the big size too that you could try out that makes nice low sounds. Um, so just use whatever you have in your in your house. So anyway, Miss Sparks saying goodbye and thank you for uh, your STEAM lesson on pressure and uh, stay safe.